and yes, I do know what I got for my roll. Hello you guys, welcome back to another video. I almost said vlog, but this is not going to be a vlog today. Instead, we're going to be doing the DCP tag because we are officially five weeks out of me moving into the Disney College program, which doesn't even feel real. I haven't filmed a Disney College program dedicated video since April when I filmed my announcement. So if you haven't seen that video, I'll put it up in the cards in the description, but we're going to be doing a lot of DCP content here on out. So I hope you guys stick around. Yeah, we're going to start it off with the DCP tag because this is a very popular video for people who are starting the Disney College program and kind of want to know what it's like, what other people's stories are, and so we're going to do that today and I'm very excited about it. I will say, I'm going to go ahead and put this disclaimer here that a lot of these questions, or at least a couple of them, have been answered already in my announcement video because it was all about my application process. So if you haven't seen that video, please go watch it and come back here because that's going to make a little bit more sense. I'm going to probably just say go watch my other video for more because I don't want to say things twice around here, so I'm going to go ahead and get started started with the first question. So the first question, how did you hear about the program? So I heard about this program a long time ago, back in 2020, and unfortunately I graduated high school in 2020, so things were a lot different, obviously. I was supposed to go on a big extended graduation trip with my family as well as my boyfriend was supposed to come along. We were supposed to go to Disney World for like 10 days. It was gonna be so much fun. And then Disney closed because of COVID. And so we couldn't do our normal thing. I ended up going to the beach with them and it was a fun time and I enjoyed it. But because I couldn't go to Disney, I was like, I need my Disney fix. And so I started watching YouTube vlogs of people going to Disney and people my age going to Disney and doing graduation trips and things like that so that I could kind of live vicariously through them. And through doing that, I came across Emily Nelson. And if you don't know who she is, she's probably the biggest Disney creator that I can think of at least. She started her creator journey at the Disney College Program in 2018 when she was a college program participant. And so I was like, that's a thing. That's so cool. And so I did my research. Obviously, I couldn't have applied in 2020 or 2021. And I wanted to so bad. But that's when I first heard about it. And I made it my mission for after my graduation, I would apply because if I applied, I, during my college tenure while I was there, it would have made me graduate late and I didn't want to do that because I was going to Clemson University, which is very expensive for people who are out of state. And I didn't want to put that pressure on my family to try and like get me to do all of the things. It was kind of a lot. There were a lot of layers to that onion, but basically I found out about it in 2020 and I knew that in 2024 I wanted to apply. So I did. The next question is all about my interview and application process. So if you haven't seen my last video, like I said, go watch it because it makes a lot more sense than what I'm going to say here. But basically what happened is I only had to do two out of the three standard steps because they took out the web-based interview for I don't really know why exactly, but my whole application process from applying to getting in took about two and a half weeks. So that's pretty cool. I would say it was pretty fast. I definitely am on the lucky end of that spectrum because some people hadn't heard for like a month and a half before they figured it out. So everybody is different and I talk about it more in depth in my video that's going to be up in the cards and the description. So go watch it. The next question is where were you when you found out you got accepted? So I did vlog this in the last video as well, but basically I was in between class changes one day and I was talking to a couple of my friends. One of my friends had applied and got in the week before. So I was like, oh that's kind of cool and interesting and so I was checking my email just for kicks because I knew I wanted to film my reaction and I just like noticed it with my all my friends I literally smacked my hand to my face so hard that it echoed in the entire like atrium of the building that I was in and so I was like I need to go film this right now and so I didn't actually open the email until I was kind of alone and I was able to film myself but I saw an email from Disney programs and I was like I'm not gonna read any more of it I'm just gonna go and sit in this chair in the corner and film myself opening this email and finding out so that's what happened I ended up definitely crying a little bit but yeah my reaction is in the last video as well this next question is all about roles so what are my preferred roles what would I prefer to get as well as what did I get if I know already and yes I do know what I got for my role although I'm not going to say it in this video because I'm waiting to get some people's reactions on camera from when I tell them I haven't told a couple people in person yet and I want to do that before I announce it to the world so we're going to wait until I get 
those people's reactions on camera so that I can put a vlog together and film it and put it up for you guys. But yeah, it's not going to be in this video. So drop your guesses in the comments and definitely subscribe and hit the notification bell so that you can be notified whenever I do post that video. It's coming in a couple weeks. So I am going to tell you my top three choices for roles that I told my interviewer whenever I was doing the phone interview. So the first choice that I had was PhotoPass because obviously I love taking pictures and videos. I love the camera. I love taking pictures for other people. The second choice that I had was attractions just because one, I have experience using machinery because of my major. I worked on printing presses all the time. And so I know how kind of machinery and technology works. You can do so much with it. I chose that just because of the variety and the fact that I have experience with machinery. And the third one that I gave them was concierge. I feel like a lot of people don't really talk about resort concierge or anything like that or front desk. And I have experience being like a front desk person. I was a receptionist way, way back when it was my first job. And so let me know what you guys think I got in the comments. I would love to know your predictions. <laughs> Question number five is all about roommates. So how I found my roommate, how many roommates I want and all of that. These questions I think are a little bit old because whenever you're living in Flamingo Crossings, you have one option as far as how many roommates you get. You get four roommates. It just depends on the housing orientation. So you could get put in a room with the same bedroom and bathroom as one other person. You could just be sharing a bathroom or you could get a little corner of the place to yourself. And so it doesn't really matter what unit type you get. You're still going to have four people living in the unit. So that question is kind of... I don't know, moot point, because you're gonna get the same amount of people in the room no matter what. It just depends on if you're sharing a bedroom or a bathroom with somebody. And I do have a roommate, which is exciting. I didn't think I was going to, and then somebody popped up in the Disney College program group me, and they were like, I have these dates. And I was like, me too, text me, because I haven't seen anybody with those dates yet. And so we hit it off, and we're now going to be rooming together, which is gonna be fun. Something that I think is interesting that they disclosed. I haven't seen anything actually happen with this, but if if you link with the roommate whenever you're doing dorms registration, you are guaranteed to be in the unit with the person, but you might not be sharing the bedroom if you get like a two by two, or you might not be sharing the bathroom if you get a four by two. I don't know how that's gonna work because I don't have my lease yet. <laughs> so I don't know what kind of house I'm gonna be in, but I know that she's at least going to be in the unit with me, which is gonna be so much fun. And she will be in the vlogs, so stay tuned for that so you can meet her officially. <laughs> Question number six, what are you going to miss while you're there? So I feel like I'm going to miss my family and friends the most, especially my boyfriend. I'm already in a long distance relationship with him. And so I, I'm in like a mid distance relationship. He drives three hours to see me almost every weekend, which I'm so, so grateful for, but we're not gonna get our regular weekly visits whenever I'm in Florida. And so that I think is going to be the hardest part. I'm gonna miss him incredibly, but it's gonna all be worth it when I come home. I don't plan on extending or anything. This is just going to be kind of like a one and done, last hurrah to my college career type of thing. And so, yeah, I'm gonna miss him a whole bunch. I'm also gonna miss my mom. I love my mom so much. She's my best friend. And obviously I have a whole bunch of friends that are going to be rooting me on from the sidelines, but I'm not gonna get to see them quite as much. Although one of my friends, my best friend Kendall, who has been in a couple of these vlogs already, she is also ironically going to Florida for something totally different and it is also during the time that I'm going to be down there. So I'm going to at least have somebody to kind of, I don't know, see every once in a while while I'm there to kind of give me a taste of home without being home, if that makes sense. So she's also interning in Florida. She's gonna be interning about two hours away from me. So we could easily do some sort of like weekend trip or something together and we could still see each other, which would be amazing. So I'm looking forward to that a lot. This next question, I feel like every Disney nerd gets at least once in their life. It is, what is your favorite park? And so, Currently, my favorite park is Epcot. I don't know if that's gonna change while I'm down there or not, but I love Epcot just for the reason that it feels a lot more laid back. It's not quite as crazy and go, go, go as something like Magic Kingdom is or Hollywood Studios. Although I do love Hollywood Studios for its own reasons, I still think Epcot is my absolute favorite park and I love that I'm going to finally get to see all of the walls down. I haven't been to Epcot since 2022. And so back then all of the walls were still up from like the whole center area and so that is all down for the first time in five years. I'm gonna be able to actually walk straight through the park, which is gonna be so weird, but I'm really, really looking forward to it and I cannot wait to see it in person. Question number eight, what is the first thing you want to do when you get there? I would say the first thing that I want to do while I'm there is get a button. I've not gotten one of those like free little buttons before. And so I wanna get a button that says celebrating my DCP. I know you're gonna get one during traditions, but I wanna get one like custom to me so that I can wear it with my family while they're there 
here because we are going down a couple days early to just kind of play in the parks before we get down to business and I want to get a button the first day that I get there and even with my family I'm just I'm going to be going to the first store that I can find and say do you guys have the free buttons and can I have one please <laughs> question number nine is what is the number one thing on your bucket list this list is going to be so long I'm going to definitely make a dedicated bucket list video because it's going to take a hundred years to film and create and it might not even be finalized by the time I make the video but I think the number one thing on my bucket list is to get all six songs on Guardians of the Galaxy because I've gotten three of them. I've gotten Conga, I've gotten One Way or Another, and I think I've also gotten Iran. I didn't know the songs at the time, so one of the songs that I got, I didn't know the lyrics to or anything like that. So I think it was Iran when I wrote it the last time. So I've gotten three out of six. I want to do it like while I'm all down there all at once. So I want to get all six songs at some point while I'm down there, if that makes sense. Question number 10, the last one in this little list is one thing that you want to take away from your program. So I think the biggest thing that I want to take away is the connections, both friendship wise, as far as finding new friends, as well as professionally because part of the reason why I'm going down there isn't just because it's Disney and I love the park so much it's because I would love to work with them at least for a little while on the corporate side of things they do seminars all the time for the college program people I can just kind of go to their seminars and kind of see what their world is like and if I really do want to do it then I can connect with them and if I don't then I at least kind of can cross off a box and say that like I did the program to connect and see what's out there and I didn't really like it so at the end of the day I want all of my connections to be the biggest thing that I take away. And that is it for this DCP tag. I hope you guys learned a little bit about me and my story as far as the Disney College program goes. I'm so excited to start filming these because this is the first video that I've sat down on film so far. I have a couple left to do before we start doing the packing vlogs and things like that. So stay tuned for all of that. I have so much planned, but yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and go and edit this video and get it out to you guys as soon as I can. So definitely subscribe, like this video if you've liked it, and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.